and we are back my good people my favorite people the usfa is here again week 14 action this will be the last week that we have here in the regular season and we'll have the prime time games a little later but this game right here it's pretty important i'm not even going to lie to you let's go ahead and get to it shout out to the people in the chat shout out to the discord but make sure you like and subscribe do what you need to do to get on the field show some love to all of our various affiliates you already know how we do the games keep cooking here in the usfa i gotta do one quick check here let me see if i can turn it up how's this okay this looks a little bit better test 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 one two three okay we're good to go got everything rolling here let's go ahead and get to it you know how we do the games keep rolling pittsburgh and dallas this will be the last time we see pittsburgh in season number eight up until we have the draft lottery and the entry draft but the homies at home dallas dragons they still have a realistic chance to make the playoffs and we will decide that here in the double header we got ourselves a great game coming up tonight so make sure you watch out for it but outside that should be a fun ride you already know how we do the game keeps cooking and i want to go ahead and check a couple things on my side just to make sure everything is good just give me one second yes 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 much better much better okay so we got that ready to go the game is rolling or about to be rolling let's hit that play game button best of luck to both of these teams it was a dog fight last time these two teams played but we'll kick this one off here let's get into it once again best of luck to both of these teams here as we see the return there from anthony stank doing his stuff fizzle this season we'll once again go over the statistics going into this game as we see mike hawk with the carry trying to get past the 30 not quite done it gonna make it second and eight calvin thomas with the tackle now the situation here is if dallas wins today and anchorage loses tonight against huntington beach the dallas dragons the team in the gray and green uniforms you see on defense they will be making their first playoff spot as we see the pass there goes the homie again first down play to blake grant shout out to the big homie they're doing his thing first and 10 coming for pittsburgh but yes if dallas wins the game and anchorage loses tonight then dallas will make the playoffs pittsburgh has a chance to pretty much settle that here and make a win if they could win this one, then they pretty much will keep Dallas out of the moves because if Dallas and Anchorage lose, this really doesn't matter because Anchorage is ahead of Dallas in the standing. So we'll see if Dallas can get their footing here on defense, see if they can get the job done. You never know how it goes until it goes. This will be officially the last home game for Dallas this season, no matter what, because they'll be the number three seed. They will not have any type of home field advantage, obviously. So, shout out to the Dallas crowd here as we see the pass to Brian Davis, Jim Carr, the quarterback. A lot of talk about whether or not this will be his last uh, game in the Pittsburgh Roughneck uniform. We'll have to see. But it's third and four here. Dallas trying to get off the field. Andre Krim down at the bottom on defense. Or at least on the defensive line side of things. He's going to try to get the pass rush, but it doesn't get home. Here comes Bodacious with the catch right there. First and 10. Pittsburgh on the move so far. Here, Dallas, this is not what you want to see to start the game. Still got some time, of course. Calvin Thomas with the tackle. Going to make it first and 10 here. Not quite in field goal range, but Pittsburgh moving the football. Almost got a man offside. It's going to look to hand this one off, and he's going to get stuck immediately. Number 22, Kobe to the Proby, making the play number 22. From the second and 10 here.
Almost got a man outside. He's going to fake the handoff and looks going to throw it short and drag down immediately. Tackle down by who I believe is Jackson Storm. Yes, it is. He's going to be third and five coming up here. Dallas with another chance to get off the field, force a long field goal, maybe, maybe even push him out of uh, field goal range if they can get the right pressure. Dallas with five at the line. Going to send four, though. Got some crossers. Going to complete the catch to Anthony Stank, who's going to pick up the first down. And this Pittsburgh team looking pretty nice right now with first and ten. Anthony Stank with his first catch, a gain of seven. And after these two teams have their first drive, we could talk about the stats so far for their star players. That's going to be first and ten here. Going to make the handoff, Mike. We're gonna look for a man right side is caught. There goes the bot player ball getting the first down and dragging the man inside the 10. Raven Kenobi pushing him out, but it's gonna be first and goal. Pittsburgh with an immaculate drive right now. Jim Carr perfect on the game. Here comes the moves. This goes short. It's going to be caught and hit immediately. There goes Corby and Crimson checking into the game. It's interesting to see if he remains in Pittsburgh as well. I believe he's on his last year of his contract, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to double check that in the updater sheet. But so far, Pittsburgh still moving the ball down the field. They have yet to have a major mess up. As he almost got hit with offsides penalty as Dallas going to throw a short to Mike and he's going to get shut down. Not to be their third and goal. He should be closing in on 100 catches this season. Just immaculate out of the halfback spot. Not really the greatest on the ground, but his presence has been felt. Receiving the football when it's time through the air. Third and goal coming again. Dallas trying to get the stop, holding the three. They're going to hand it off to 29 and get stuck. And I think I know who that is. It's Andre Krim. Fourth and goal, and the Dallas Dragons makes the play. Will Pittsburgh go for it here? That's the question. It's two yards away. It's definitely makeable. And it looks like they will keep their offense on the field. They're trying to put seven on the board. They're going to send a drop back. The blitz tries to get home and almost throws a pick. And the Dallas Dragons force their first incompletion. And at the same time, forces turnover on downs. Great defensive stand. Ben, but don't break. Now we'll see DJ Church for the first time. They're going to make the playoffs. They have to win this game, so you got to expect that they'll need a big game from number 15 as he's going to take the drop back, throws it short, and that is not a great pass to start out with. Throwing it straight from the end zone, and he could not hit the mark there. It's going to be second and 10. That formation. I'm sorry, not that formation. That's pistol formation. Almost got... One of the bot players offsides looking for a man. Going to throw it short. and going to be caught. There goes Jerry Riggs past the 20. And there goes Dallas's first big play. They got to drive 98 yards in order to get a score. So far, they got 20 of them right there. First and 10, Dallas. And off here. Going to get tripped up, though, and pushed backwards. He's still up, and there's a flag on the play, and I think it's going to be on Dallas. Duxley Rooks. That didn't turn out how they wanted it to, for sure. It's going to be second and 17. They'll go ahead and decline it. Rather give them two chances to try to get 17 as opposed to three chances to get 20. Pittsburgh trying to play some 4D chess. Will it work out in their favor is the question. Wolf Jacobson with a huge, huge day last week. Well over 100 rushing yards, two TDs, looking for a man to throw it to. Going to launch the middle of the field and overthrows Riggs, who had some room to get, so, get up the field, but has got to get on the mark there. Got to get that mile high connection. All ready to go. Third and 17 coming. 
Gary Philbin, he's looking to try to keep his uh, pass rush numbers up. Let's see if he can get a sack or two. Going to be looking for the pass. Quick pitch left side and going to be almost picked off. Number 34 on defense. And that's going to be fourth and 17 coming up here. Pittsburgh defense, they stepped up when they needed to, and now they should have some pretty good field position. See what happens here. Let's go ahead and bring these stats up real quick. You know what I'm saying? Sending this one away. A nice boot there to around the 32 yard line. Trying to take them in. They're going to push to the 40 yard line. That is where Pittsburgh's going to start out here, folks. Now let's start with the passing. Quarterback Jim Carr. 3,700 passing yards going into this ball game and that is enough to be in the top five so that's definitely encouraging for sure as you see the handoff there to mike who finds a hole been between this dallas defense and picking up the first pass midfield first and 10 coming on the other side dj church he's at 3040 yards going into this ball game and that's second least in this ball game in this uh, series or we should say season. That's more like it. in the season. 3,040 yards. And that's second least in the league. As we see a handoff here pushing. And going to get chopped down by Perrin. Ibarra with the stop behind the line of scrimmage. Going to make it second in 11. Now in regards to touchdowns. Jim Carr fourth most in the league once again with 26. Definitely impressive. And then looks like BJ Church more than likely will be the least amount of touchdowns this season. He currently has 17, but the person he was tied with has looked at the strong learning from the black player using his blockers. But um, DJ Church more than likely will be at the bottom this season. Currently has 17. We'll see if he gets some more, but Cletus Castle also had 17 going into the game yesterday, and he popped off with a five touchdown game which up to that point moves him to 22, and he'll be tied with Action Jackson. We'll see tonight as it looks like Jim Carr's going to throw in the run and find Stank past the 30. This Pittsburgh team is looking kind of magical right now. They had one mess up on fourth down, but they've been able to find the right passes here. Jim Carr looking nice, first and 10. So that's all the passing stats that I currently have right now, but we can go to the rushing. As we see first and 10 coming up. Going to make a man move in motion. That is going to be Mike Hawk. Looking for the man again. Quick pitch and caught. And going to get tackled immediately by Calvin Thomas, number 77. Second and six coming up here. Now, Wolf Jackson at this point of the season in third place behind Lamar Davis, but Wolf Jackson has 1,079 yards. And then the counterpart on the other side, Mike Hawk, who ironically went to the same college as him, won a lot of championships. Let's see the pass there to Mike trying to push, and he is going to get the first down. Yes, he is. Great, strong running there for Mike. We're going to keep the chains moving as the first quarter, getting close to winding down. Mike Hawk right now with 551 rushing yards going into this ball game. He's trying to at least get past 600 or 700, depending if he can hit a long run here against this Dallas defense. But that is going to close out quarter number one, folks. Let's get into it. Huge, huge game, and we still got three more quarters to play. Let's flip the fields and see what is happening here. First and 10, Pittsburgh. Here comes Jim Carr. Protection, pretty nice. He's going to take off and throw on the run. And it looks like it is going to be another completion there to Bodacious. A gain of five on the play. Not a lot of splash yards, but effective. On the, let's see, rushing touchdowns. Uh, Ulf Jackson currently needs one more to get over 10 on the season. As we see the pass reaching out, and Blake Grant is going to get the touchdown. I know he's been waiting on this one. I believe that is number one on the season. 
and a great job from number 88 in this Pittsburgh offense who's been looking very nice. Kick is up and it shall be good from Anita, Dick and me. Pittsburgh will make it seven to nothing here. Continuing on what I was going on with the rushing touchdowns. Both Jackson needs one rushing touchdown to hit 10. Currently at nine on the season. And then looks like the homie Mike Hawk is not in the top 10. I'll have to investigate where exactly he is, but we'll just say that he's at two or less rushing touchdowns on the season. Now, in regards to the receiving side of things, Looks like we have a couple of players here. Jerry Riggs, he's the fourth leading receiver in yards with 1,037. Good job by him. And then on the other side, looks like Anthony Stank. Currently with 874, so she'll need a big game in order to crack 1,000 yards. I believe she is over eight touchdowns on the season, so she's been really good as we see a flag come out. Looks like the other running back, Braxton McFadden, is going to make the mess up there. It's first and 10. That is all the players there for receiving yards there in this section. Now, touchdowns. Anthony Stankow was right. Has 11 touchdowns on the season. A little bit further down just to make sure that is all of them. Yes, it is. So no other players in this particular ball game has at least eight touchdowns as you see off Jackson with the carry pretty much getting all those yards back from that crazy one earlier second and three coming a little bit further down In regards to total touchdown scored that means offense I mean uh, as passing rushing and receiving Anthony Stank is right up there in that same schedule with 11. Great job by Anthony Stanks again. And I believe that is all of the note. Off Jackson is also tied with Stank with 11 touchdowns. So great job there. I believe that's nine on the ground and two on the receiving side of things. Set up first and 10. Here comes a quick pitch and Looks like Isaiah Fowler, who's looking to pop off again, had a great game last week. Second and four coming up. Tackle-wise, shout out to Mr. Poe Politicken. Wheezy Porter, fourth in the league in solo tackles with 57. A great, great job from him. And also, shout out to the defensive linebacker on Pittsburgh as we see that almost get picked off, off the head of Jerry Philbin. Going to be third and four. But Austin Wheeler with 52 solo tackles. Great job from the homie right there. Always active in the Pittsburgh check. I see you, big homie. Keep up the good work. Sack-wise, looks like there's only one player here in this section. And that's Andre Krim with 11 and a half. He's trying to increase that total. As we see a launching to the left side in some coverage. And looks like the homie cannot hang on. Great defense again. And it's going to be fourth and four coming up here. I think he waited just a little too late. I think if he launched it maybe a second later, I mean, later, a second earlier, he would have been able to hit him in stride. But not to be fourth and four coming. Pittsburgh's going to get this football back. And then they'll way to the right side. Going to be a spin move. There goes the homie making a few men miss and gets to the 30. That's Ryan Davis. Doing his thug fizzle by way of the not expansion draft, but uh, he will be playing for a new team next season. Shout out to Ryan Davis, the new leader of Banks and Beach. He said he already made his plans for that to happen. So this will be his final game in Pittsburgh. He's going to throw a short. There goes the homie Mike. Gets tackled immediately by number 29. Going to make it second and four. But yes, back to the stats though. Yes, Andre Krim, third in the league in sacks with 11 and a half. A great job from him. A little bit further down, interception wise, Wheezy Porter once again tied for the most interceptions in the league by one player with four. Also tied with Plankton Beach's cornerback, Ethan McWells, as this one gets pretty stuck. Great run there. First and 10 coming. 
But let's not forget the homie CJ Bird, number 34 for Pittsburgh. He has two. And then Jackson Storm, the linebacker, also has two on the season. So not too many interceptions. We'll see if that changes going into next season. But as of right now, we got ourselves a tie at the top. There goes Mike with a huge carry, reaching out for the first. Not going to get it. He's a yard shy. Going to make it second and one coming up. And off here, pushing forward is Mike making the man miss and going to take it inside the 40. Going to make it first and 10. He's at 34 rushing yards. Let me see how many he needs in order to get past 600. Hold on for a second. Needs 49. So probably another run like that and some change, and he could have 600 on the on the ground. First and 10 coming. Jim Carl looking throws it short, and there goes Mike again with another catch on the season. Jim Carl is 15 for 16 right now, looking immaculate. He is going with the short passes. He does fit more of a West Coast style offense. He he doesn't really push the ball a lot, but only when he sees one of his fast receivers go down the field. As a second and medium, and it's going to be a false start. Now pushing back a little bit. Second and ten coming. I'm gonna check how many catches Mike has really quick. You have to see all the season section. Gonna be looking for a man again. Gonna throw it right side and going to be caught rolling for it is Blake Grant. Gonna make it third and one. And yes, I was right. Mike Hawk currently with 92 catches on the season. That's ridiculous. Getting a lot of work. And most of it came from that 21 catch game that he had that one time. Even though they lost it, it's still pretty impressive nonetheless. 31 here. Hand it off. And Mike is going to have a lot of room to get that first down. And the drive once again shall continue here for Pittsburgh. who's looking really nice. Tackled by Weezy Porter right there. The boy man throws a right side and caught, turning it up, and going to get knocked out of bounds is Anthony Stank. The offense is just percolating right now. Dallas looking very fleet footed here on defense. Really cannot find an answer. These speedy receivers here in the rough neck set. They're making it look too easy, finding the holes here for Jim Carr to dominate. First and 10, going to be a deep drop back, looking middle field and caught. There goes Davis, who's picking up the first down, wanted the touchdown, but couldn't quite get there. Two yards shy of the mark, and it's first and goal, Pittsburgh. They're look, making it look too easy right now. Thirty plays, nineteen of them are rushes, but they'll give their twelve and gonna push forward and he's a little shy. Is Mike. Almost punched it in there, but a second and goal here. Dallas looking for yet another goal line stand. Already did it once, but Dallas is gonna load up that O line with some beef. Trying to make the play. Gonna send pretty much everyone but they left the man open cannot hang on great backside defense from pre safety Jay Mango third and goal coming up turned around in just the right second and off and the easy money Touchdown. Mike Hawk doing his thing. Great job. And Pittsburgh's going to take the two score lead before the half ends. We'll see if Dallas can match up with the score of their own. 
but right now Dallas safe. They, they've yet to find their footing offensively. This is not the time to do it. Kick is going to be up and will be good. A 12th place, 72 yard drive here from Pittsburgh Roughnecks. Pittsburgh intent of making this a spoiler matchup. And as you know, if Dallas loses, then Anchorage will make the playoffs. That's pretty much how it goes. So a lot of Anchorage people, they will be rooting for Pittsburgh. So they really don't have to beat Huntington Beach. At that point, whatever happens, happens. If they beat them again, then okay, that's really cool. But they don't have to like stress or anything like that. So, but Dallas, they're still got some time here. They just need to find a way to First off, they need to get stops, right? Because Pittsburgh, they've been moving the ball down the field essentially every time they had the football. Dallas needs to find a way to get pressure. They're on Jim Carr, which is crazy enough to say. Seeing how a season kind of went. We've been very up and down. Seeing how Pittsburgh only won three games up to this point. But we see the return here. Going to take this one to the right side and gets close to the 25. Dallas. My opinion, you need to score in this half right here. Field goal, touchdown, something. You need to put something on the board. Pistol set here. We're going to hand it off to the homie off. Who's going to get past the 30, rolls to the 32. That's a good game to start it out. Need a little bit more than that, though. Second and two coming. Deep drop back. Throws it short and caught. Looking for a move. And going to get past the 40 and not much else. They'll take that, though. That's going to be first and 10. I believe that's Braxton McFadden. Yes, it is. Going to move the chains. Getting close to midfield here. It's definitely a good start as they get closer to the two-minute warning. They may not let it rock. They may just let it happen. No, they will not. They tried to get them off sides there, but not to be. From first and 10 again here for Dallas. They have all three timeouts, so they don't necessarily have to rush a big find a big play. In the pistol once again. The receivers are here. You can't see Derek, uh, Jerry Riggs is at the bottom. Going to look for a man to throw it, and he's going to throw it to Robin. He's going to get to midfield a little bit past it. Clock continues to roll here. Second and one. Obviously, this is uh, no huddle territory here. And we're going to keep it moving here back in the pistol. Going to hike it quick right about now. Here comes the homie church. Going to look for a man to throw it to left side and try to throw on the run. That ain't going to work. Going to make it third and one. In my personal opinion, I say give it to 34. Pick up the first, live to fight another day. This is one of your best chances here. You don't want to fumble the bag. Got to put some points on the board. They are going to pass it. Looking left side. And hey, if Church has said he, he said he got the juice, he's going to pick up the first. Quentin Robin, big catch there. Going to make it first and 10 Dallas. They needed that. Great route as well. Number 29 or number 20, Kane Elliott. He could not stop the play. No huddle again. Approaching field goal range. Passing it. Looking. Going to throw it short. Going to pick up. Or almost pick up the first down. They're going to say second and inches, but they're in field goal range. They're going to try to keep it moving here. They have all three timeouts. Haven't called them yet. But I should be expecting them to start pretty soon. 45 seconds. No timeouts called. Gonna pass it here. Looking left side and caught again. There goes Robin beating Kane Elliott again. And they'll call their timeout here. First and 10 Dallas. Into the red zone for the first time. Started a little late to the party, but better late than never, unless it's in the third going into the fourth.
pistol again looking for a man his church stands in the pocket finds the pressure and going to throw straight to number 33 but luckily for them he could not catch it and he was going to be out of bounds if he did second and 10 coming up sometimes that's what you got to do you got to throw it out make sure that no one else can touch it the pressure was beaming down on church good job by him to take not take the sack Jerry Philbin almost caught off sides, but they're going to look for a man here. Going to throw it short. Going to pick up the first down and a little bit more. Timeout number two called. And Dallas is on the six-yard line. They definitely needed this. Now they definitely need a touchdown. Great job by Ernesto Romero doing his stuff. First and goal. Jerry Riggs in the slot right there at the bottom of your screen. What will he do? Going to look for a man of church. Mills up. Oh! In the middle of the end zone had Isaiah Fowler right there, but just off the mark with the pass. Going to make it second and goal. But it does stop the clock since it was incomplete, so they still have another chance. They still have a timeout just in case they get stopped without getting a touchdown. Got him offside, so it's half a distance now. Looking to take off and just throws this away. Great play there by Church to not take the sack, even though it really wouldn't have mattered. And they still have the timeout in their pocket. Second and goal coming. Now this opens up the run game a little bit. They can try to run the football with the best or the most talented halfback in the league, Hope Jacobson. And they do load up with the heavy formation. I don't blame them for going this route. And they are going to try it. Why not? And give it to 34. U-L-F. Touchdown. Dragons. And that'll put them on the board for the first time today. We got ourselves a game today, folks. Stay tuned. Kick is going to be up here and all day. 11 play, 75 yard drive here from Dallas Dragons. Cutting that lead in half that Pittsburgh currently has. They could get the stop here. Take it into the half. I believe Pittsburgh started with the football. Actually, I could be wrong on that. I have to double check, but shout out to the homies here. Dallas putting out. Trying to get in that end zone. They finally did it. Pittsburgh still has their offense that's been moving the ball down the field. Can this Dallas Dragons team find a way to get a stop? Sending this one away. Let's do it. Here from Anthony Stank. He's going to cut up. Gets past the 25 down to the 30. 12 seconds left. Not expected too much here for this drive unless Pittsburgh comes with the unthinkable. We will have to see. First and 10. Nope. We're going to go ahead and take the lead. And that'll be a perfect time to go into the advertisement shout out to the homies at w w got that premium prop content right there along with that premium drink also known as the official energy drink of the united sim football association if you want to get your hands on it use that code right there usfas8 to get 10 percent off of each and every order that you choose to have with them great great product make sure you get that starter pack if you're not sure what's exactly to get that have uh four different packs that you could try out the flavors really really good i recommend it going to be a fun ride here at w shout out to them also shout out to the homies at paladim just like with w if you partake with, with their services you'll be directly supporting the united Sim football association by doing so also a great product if you want to help your business get in tip-top shape from a uh, software standpoint you gotta love it 
gotta show some love to them sign a contract it's gonna be a great ride they got some great people great tech people i love it so make sure you also shout out to all of all our affiliates we got three of them it's going to be the homies at gsp gold standard basketball they're approaching season two action the draft is coming we've seen combine games they got everything rolling they're currently in the off season so make sure you show some love to them as well they got a lot of great things coming going to be a fun ride going into season two shout out also to the homies at the ecfl who's going to be moving towards season number eight there's a season behind us so shout out to them they are our collegiate affiliates whenever they finish their college careers they get drafted by us in the usfa 12 teams coming up next season about to draft somewhere from a draft pool somewhere around 100 to 125 users i'm trying to tell you it's going to be litty and then we also have the homies over there at uh goals great one hockey league sim if you want to be the next uh hall of famer on the ice that is the place where you will go a great community there and i love to see it but we're going to keep the game rolling after that thank you so much for spending your time during that as we go ahead and prep for halftime i'll go ahead and flip over to it so you can see what's happening but it's pretty much the last seconds here and we'll keep this thing rolling. Let's go ahead and do it. Dallas got the football back. They trying to do the darn thing. Let's see the return. Trying to be Quentin Robin past the 20. Looking to get past the 25. Does just that. Gets to the 28. And it's going to be first and 10. Dragon. Led by DJ Church. They can tie the ball game up. They can move closer. To potentially getting closer to that lead that Pittsburgh has. A lot of opportunities here to be great. Jerry Riggs, the top receiver, at this uh, top screen on the screen. Going to throw it straight to him, and he will catch it for a minimal gain. Gain of four, actually. Second and six coming up here. Let's see what they can do. catches 24 yards on the day for Jerry Riggs in the shotgun formation and they are going to try the home who's going to run straight into one of those defensive players going to make it third and two honestly I would like to see Dallas try to give it to him again but I can trust his ability to pick up two yards as they move to the pistol Looks like man coverage here. And that's going to be a false start. Unfortunate there for Dallas. And I guess that'll take away their run game option. Now they'll have to pass. Got to hold your water on the O-line. As they move towards a slightly deeper pistol formation. They're going to fake it gonna look for a man to throw two throws on the run and that is not going to work didn't look like there was too much open there pressure was looking like it was trying to get home trying to make it fourth and five Pittsburgh's getting this football back Sending this one away here is David Washington. Here comes the punt inside the 15. And great defense there overall on the special team to make sure he doesn't get too far. He'll take it to the 22 is Ryan Davis. He'll lead this wide receiver for the greatness. At least that's what he's going to say in this final game here in Pittsburgh. First and 10 coming. Jim Carr with one of his most accurate halves passing the football this season and potentially his whole career trying to give him at least another victory so they could think about it during the draft and they'll throw it straight to the man who just did the punt return first and 10 here comes Pittsburgh as if as if I was twin John Fowler Tried to make the stop, but could not slow down that uh, that crazy slant route. And the four man here throws it short again and going to be caught. 
picking up some more yards it's corby and crimson 20 for 22 so far this game pretty ridiculous i'm not even going to lie to you but it's going to be the yard shab this uh first down mark here Sing. Got the strong guy and they'll hand it off and I'm pretty sure Mike picked up the first and he does Great job once again here for Pittsburgh getting close to midfield. They didn't need too much. Mike is going to pick up the first Tackled by Rocky Ivan and I believe Jackson Storm on the play Now they move to the shotgun here. They're going to send a man in motion going to throw it short and going to run straight into Jackson Storm. Going to make it a short game there of one. Second and nine coming up. Six catches, 25 yards there for the homie. He only needs two more catches. He'll be another player that reached the 100 reception mark. Passing it. Throws it again, left side and caught. There goes Bodacious, who's going to get dropped shy of the first down mark by Jay Mangum. Third and three coming up here. Dallas with the chance to get off of the field. Shotgun again here for Jim Carr. Send Blake Grant in motion. Looking for a man to throw it to and cannot connect the dots to Blake Grant, who had a man, had a step on the man that was hard enough not to be. Dallas is going to get the stop here. Unless Pittsburgh does the unthinkable, says, hey, we still got a lot of work to do. Nope, they're going to go with the pump formation. Sending this one away. It is going to the left side but it is going to bounce into the end zone for a touchback. So Dallas, they can breathe a little bit of a sigh of relief. It's going to be first and 10, DJ Church in the game. Let's see what you got. So far living up to what it's supposed to be a big game here for Dallas. But they need to put their heads in motion to get it right. They're going to hand it off to Ulf, who's going to get a short game. There goes Jerry Philbin with the tackle. Big boy number five. He's gonna make a second and eight. He'll get his first tackle of the game that way. All the receivers are loaded up to the left of church. Actually, there is one. But they're gonna hand it off to there goes off with a spin move. Almost picked up the first. That was a very swift spin move. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but it was like a bolt of lightning there. Great job there from Ulf. Now third down's a lot more manageable. Opens up the playbook. They can get a game, run game once again. See if they can pick it up. And they will go once again to that loaded pistol formation. Braxton McFadden. They're going to go ahead and pass it. There it goes Ulf by himself. He's going to make the catch, and he's going to pick up the first. He tried to pull a move there on number 33. Much a lot. But not to be, but he'll still take the first down off Jackson. Gain of nine on that play. High formation here. I not give it to 34. Trying to find some blocking and trucks through a man. Pick up around six. He's falling. My boy falling. Pick it up. Get up, big dog. You got it. You got it, big dog. You got it. You straight. <laughs> Second and four coming up. Passing it here. Looking for a man. And going to be caught. There goes Isaiah Fowler. 12 for 20 on the day for DJ Church. And like I always say, whenever I see it, that is my birthday going to be a fun ride here first and 10 here comes Dallas in Pittsburgh territory looking for something nice they're going to hand it off to Ulf who's going to try to cut it against the grain not to be right back to the line of scrimmage me personally I would have tried to bounce it to the left would have had all that green grass over there but it's going to be second and 10 
30 plays on offense 20 of them passes here comes church again gonna look left side and gonna be deflected like that pass was just a little too late there he had the opening but didn't look like he had that uh the juice needed to get the ball where it needed to be that is why you continuously update because if he had higher passing strength or throw strength probably would have completed that pass third and ten Things to think about when you're going into the next season. So going to be third down here, looking, going to launch his left side and overthrows the touchdown. BJ Church had Jerry Riggs open, but just a little out of the reach. And that's going to be fourth and 10 coming up. Unfortunate play there for Dallas. Now they're going to be looking for the pin. Sending this one to the right side. This is going to be favorable. No, it will not. That is going into the back of the end zone. Pittsburgh still holds that touchdown lead. 15 minutes left in the regulation. Will we need more quarters to decide this? That's the question we'll have to answer a little bit later. But Pittsburgh has the football back. Just from an optic standpoint, Dallas's best chance. They'll need a stop right before the third quarter runs my opinion you see the bank of the handoff protection is solid but the pass is not going to help him out mike is going to make the catch but he's going nowhere and he will get at least one more catch closer to 100 on the season but he's going to lose three on that play dallas in the good position not too much word from andre krem this game he's trying to increase his sack total Andre Krem at the top of the D-line, you see, from the 78, going to pitch it short and going to be caught. There goes Bodacious, pretty much getting some of those yards back. Now it's going to be third and eight coming up here for Pittsburgh. Car turns up and runs into Krim Reaper's section. That's the sack. Number 78 getting it done when Dallas needs it. He's been updating. That's why you can make plays like that. It's fourth and 15. And that should definitely help Dallas get some good field position. Great job. Sending this one away. I'll do a turn here by Quinn Robin. Going to cut through and push through close to midfield. Didn't want to take the extra craziness. Just go straight through the brick wall. And it does help him out. Dallas, once again, pretty much where they ended their last try. A little bit further back than that if we're being precise. But it's going to be first and 10. their offense to get rolling they'll try to run game runs through a man and gets past the 45 is off jackson a game of seven that's a good start clapping in the face of gary philbin he's like i ain't got time for that though second and three coming third quarter winding down should see a couple more plays here before it ends as they move back to the i formation Honestly, a perfect time to get number 34 more involved in this offense. But they're going to go ahead with a short drop back and almost throws a pick. DJ Church at the greatest of decisions there. They tried to screen and not the screen. They tried to slant and that did not work out for them. Kingston Ali with a great defense play. They could not hang on to it. Third and three coming up. Looking for a man. Church takes off to run and runs right into number five. Subtract 10 for 15 and you get five. That's going to be Jerry Philbin with the sack. Once again, Dallas gets stonewalled as we go ahead and move into it. Put your fours in the chat for your boy. Got ourselves a good one cooking Dallas still trying to keep themselves in the game. Pittsburgh trying to close it out. This point once again, not going to be a favorable one. Pittsburgh will start at the 20. Dallas, 
Dallas's defense doing everything they can. It looks like Pittsburgh's gonna make a quick change. Set up, throws it short, is gonna be caught. There goes Davis with another one. 25 for 28 so far for Jim Carr. Second and five coming up. Dallas running low on time. And off knows a fake and is going to try to take off and brought down by Krim. He's going to be third and five coming up. They will say Bohanna at the bot is going to get the so get the tackle. But I say that was more on the home at Krim. Third and five coming. Send Mike in motion. Big third down here for Dallas. He's trying to get off the field. Or to send four. Doesn't quite get there. He's going to be caught. There goes Bodacious with the clutch play. First and 10 again. Here comes Pittsburgh. On set, they're gonna go ahead and fake the handoff. Is he gonna launch it deep? No, he will not. He's gonna run right into number 47, Rocky Ivan for the sack. Loss of four on that play. Definitely needed that for sure. Is Dallas see if they can get him off the field quicker? It looks like Pittsburgh moves back into the shotgun set. And they're going to try to hand off, trying to find a hole. Finds one is the bot player ball, making that third down a lot more easier to hit. Third and medium coming. Can Dallas get off of the field? It's nine minutes left in the fourth. Once again, another big third down. Dallas to get home and almost throws a pick almost caught after the missed INT and Dallas won't get the stop great job there defense stands tall once again after giving up those crazy drives earlier in the game the Dallas defense looks to have settled in but what can this Dallas offense that's the question we have to talk about sending this one away if you remember the last time these two teams played it was a huge bomb there to Jerry Riggs, and there goes the ball spinning to the four. Dallas is going to have to go long range to tie this ball game up. That is what Pittsburgh is settling on. It's first and 10. Dallas is back on to the field. Some of those passing lanes we've seen last week for Dallas. Hasn't really been effective here, but Church is going to be by himself. Watching left side and caught. There goes Wolf Jackson there. Making a second and one. Look for a pass here. Gonna throw it right side and throws the pick and guess who it is the number five is Jerry Philbin he's gonna take it himself big boy touchdown <laughs> on once he did you see the speed Jerry Philbin with the pick six like he's a linebacker or a corner what play of the game and Pittsburgh trying to rip the hearts out of Dallas fans early Anchorage fans cheering all over the USFA nation pick is up and good and Dallas is back down to a two score ball game still plenty of time to tie it up but just a bad decision there from church and in one of the worst positions right there you never want to force a pass like that so close in your own end zone I would have tried to run game see if you could open some things up but Nonetheless, that is the situation that Dallas has to work with here.
crazy 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 united sim football association i'm trying to tell you the craziest plays happen when you least expect it this makes this league the best of the best i'm trying to tell you it's pittsburgh they want to at least win on a good or end the season on their own terms knowing that they could take down another team that is yet to make the playoffs they said they're going to take it first and 10 coming up here I think the most unfortunate thing about that interception is that it didn't even go to a corner or linebacker. That was actually a defensive end. Jerry Philbin, you see right there, he's inside right now. Going to look for a man to throw a two right side and going to be caught by Romero. 14 for 26, 139. One interception there for Church. He's going to be first and 10. Once again, not the greatest of places you want to throw the football, but I don't think he had too many options there. He probably chose the best one he's seen. But back to the pistol here. Wolf is going to move to the right. Going to launch his left side and cannot be caught by Robin. Angel Google, HKA, Angel Food Cake. They're in coverage. Second and 10. Looking for a man launching this left side. Going to be caught by Jerry. And they're going to give him another chance. They're inside the 15. They needed that bucket in so many ways. It's first and 10 again here from Dallas. What a play there. Look like the number 33 won at the INT, but just out of the reach. As Dallas has a chance here. They need to score a touchdown, obviously. Looking for a man, quick pitch, and caught turning up. Gets the first down, I believe. Down at the one. They're going to mark it. Yes, first and goal. And Dallas has a chance to score again. All off of that huge play. They could very well take that touchdown the way that they got earlier. Going to look for the handoff more than likely. Yes, they will give it to number 34, who's going to reach over and push it in. Number two on the day, ULF touchdown. Dragons. Wolf Jackson, you already know you need at least two bodies to bring that boy down. We're back to a one score ball game just like that. And now all the Anchorage fans, they sit humbly back into their seat knowing this game isn't over yet we'll see if dallas can do the unthinkable here but pittsburgh they still got some work to do they'll get the ball back let's see how it goes Sending this one away to Anthony Stank, who's trying to get to the 25. He'll do just that. First and 10 again. Here comes Pittsburgh. They can very much wrap it up on this drive with another score. Dallas needs to make sure they need to get a quick stop in order to keep their hopes alive to tie in the ball game. Up. Handoff. There goes Mike trying to get the outside coverage and the run defense stands tall for Dallas. I could not quite even tell who was over there, but it does say John Fowler with the tackle. Second and 11 coming up. Look 
can Pittsburgh do? They're gonna hand it off. No, it's a fake. But it looks like the homies in Dallas read it perfectly in Jackson Storm with another tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Dallas coming to play on defense once again. A huge third down coming. And Dallas still has somewhere around four minutes on offense. If they could get the stop, they'll move to in man defense here. Dallas will send four to try to get that car moving on the run, launching the right side and a wide open Grants inside the 30. Just burnt the man and Jim Carr is in his bag. First and 10 Pittsburgh. And then there goes the cheering from all the Anchorage crew right there. Going to look to throw it right side and caught. There goes Davis. A juke move. Doesn't quite have the first down, I believe. They said he's sure. Yes. Second and inch is coming. Now Dallas needs pretty much a turnover at this point. Because if they get a field goal, Pittsburgh, they could pretty much wrap this game up assuming they can't get the football back. Car looking again, throws a short left side and caught. There goes a juke movement inside the 10 is Ryan Davis having one of his better games this season from a catching perspective. You see right there, 256 yards. It's first and goal again. Pittsburgh just doing what they need to do right now. Dude Lebowski with the tackle. Good car. He says he wants to pass his way into this ball game, into this victory. He says, I still got the juice looking for man. Throws it short, and that was off the feet of number 14. I don't know where he was throwing it on that one. It's going to be second and goal coming. Single back formation loaded up with tight ends and and old lineman on the send grant in motion going to pass out of it looking for a man throws it right side there goes grant who's going to push it in for number two on the day and that might be hurtful for dallas fans everywhere touchdown roughnecks pittsburgh was held for the most part on offense, they needed a defensive score to pretty much get everything's rolling. And then the offense came back to life on that drive when they needed. Dallas is going to be down two scores with two and a half minutes left. I think the only thing they really got is a quick touchdown and then try to tie it up. Next time they get the football, that's probably the best case scenario. Dallas, all things considered, had themselves a pretty good game. They allowed three scores, but they gave Dallas's offense enough chances to make plays here. Just did not work out in their favor. We'll see if Dallas could do something here on the return and on their next, next set on offense. Berg intent of taking Dallas with them. It's like, we're not making the playoffs, y'all ain't either. That's what they said. It looks like the homie Quentin Robin will take it to the 25. It's gonna be first and 10 coming up here. man here right side and going to be almost picked off again Kirch looking to try to find something downfield he's going to need to do better than that second and ten coming in my opinion Dallas's best chances of winning they have to score in the next minute which means they need a deep pass coming up 
Those four man church launching it at then call it and he by himself that's Riggs down to the 20 yard line and another big play here comes Dallas that'll take us to the two minute warning Dallas not giving up as you can see first and 10 sometimes the push comes to shove you got to throw a deep to your man's Jerry Riggs who's been balling all game long with those deep passes they had a touchdown that they missed out on. Don't forget, it could honestly be 28 to 21 right now if everything continued on as is. But we got a pistol formation here. Gonna look for a man again. Left side is gonna be caught. Gonna get pushed out of bounds. This Quentin Robin. Great awareness there to at least hold his hold his water. Try to hold on to the timeouts as much as possible. Gonna be second and one. Did say they got to score within the next minute, uh, next minute. Can they do it though? They throw it short, gonna get to the three yard line. Actually, I thought it was the two, probably the two and a half, probably where they're at. But it's first and goal here. Now, if they don't call any timeouts, do you, if they don't call any timeouts, do you, uh, go for the onside kick? That's a Interesting question here. Gonna throw it in. There goes the touch. And Dallas is still in this ball game. Technically, no timeouts used. And Dallas is gonna make it a one score game again. Pittsburgh still has work to do. Great drive. They needed it. Kick is up. That is going to be good. A five place, 75 yard drive. Now it's 90 seconds or bust here. Dallas, they, they need to get the stop on offense or the stop on his defense here. Do they go for the onside kick? Me personally, with all three of your timeouts, I recommend you just kicking it away. Because if you don't get it, you're pretty much giving Pittsburgh the chance to uh, get some points potentially. So. I'd say I say play play a little defense here, and then now if you could get a good stop within their 20 on the kickoff, then you can get a stop, and then you'll give yourself good field position to help yourself with a chance. But maybe they'll think different. Go for the onside. Looks like they are going for the onside. Kick is away. Going to get picked up, almost recovered there by Dallas. There was a dude now streaking right towards the ball, but Dallas could not corral it. Now it's Pittsburgh's turn with the football. First down essentially ices the game. Looks like they're going with the single back formation. And that's a false start. That's a big penalty there. Moving backwards, giving Dallas a chance to get off of the field. Are these the last minutes of season nine of season eight here for Dallas? Jim Carr with a pretty good day. And we're going to hand it off, going to push forward and get stopped. Dallas calling the timeout swiftly. Best case scenario right there for Dallas. Two more plays like that. Dallas has a chance to tie the ball game up. And Dallas do the unthinkable. They need two more stops. You gotta expect two more run plays here from Pittsburgh. He comes to one pass the football handoff, trying to get down, and it looks like Andre Krim is there to make the tackle. Timeout number two. Third and nine coming up here. Will Pittsburgh find a way to keep the drive alive and burn the last time out? Pick up the first down. Pittsburgh will need to get past the 35. Dallas's last pitch effort on defense. Can they do it? They're going to fake the handoff, and Pittsburgh is going to get stopped. They try to read option. Not a fan of that one. 
but it's going to be fourth and nine coming up. No, no chance here for a field goal as well. That's going to be a little bit too far. That's over 50, 55 yards there. I don't think Anita has a leg for that. So we'll see the punt team. Dallas technically has a shot here. See Anita, Anita sending this one away and it is going out of bounds inside the 15 down at the 10. Dallas has to drive 90 yards to get where they need to get. Huge, huge game here. Dallas, they're not giving up. Pittsburgh, they want to get the stop. The playoff hopes are in DJ Church's hands. Can he get the job done is the question. He's going to launch it deep immediately with the flag. Going to be caught, but I think it's on Dallas. No, it's on the homies of Jerry Philbin. That's inside the 25. <sighs> Dallas has a, sh a realistic shot. Jerry Philbin with the penalty. Roughing the passer. That is crazy. And Dallas has a shot here, folks. At the 22 yard line. DJ Church trying to find something. Protection is perfect. In the pass, there goes Riggs down and gets into the end zone. What? Dallas. Oh my goodness. Dallas did it. They tied, they're potentially tying the ball game up. 28 to 27. Kick is up. David Washington needs to knock it through, and he does. We have ourselves a tie ball game, folks. Don't go anywhere. Dallas says they are not quitting on nobody. Will we have to take this to five? Oh my goodness, the fight of the dragon. Kind of reminds me of that uh, one Disney Channel show, American Dragon. Isn't that Jake Long? That was his name? I forgot what his name is, but. Never give up on the fight, folks. This is what the United Sim Football Association is all about. Dallas, they're fighting for a playoff spot. If, I'm, if you're just joining in, welcome to the USFA. This is your first, uh, first time being here. Appreciate you for stopping by. But this is the USFA, the most premium of premium simulation leagues. I'm trying to tell you, we pulled out the best content and we're proud to do it whether we get five views or 50. As we see the return, there goes the homie Anthony Stink. And Pittsburgh technically can still win this ball game. Don't get me wrong, folks. Now Dallas's defense needs to play their best defense of their lives. Not just because of what they did earlier, but wow. And Dallas, honestly, Dallas could still win this game too in this uh, if they could get some sort of turnover and Pittsburgh's going to move some uh, pieces around looking for a man church on the run finds a man that's grants again with the spin move and turns up and gets past the 45 and they'll call the timeout pretty soon you have to assume what a play there from Blake Grant what a spin move there watch this after the catch he's going to turn up right against the homie Wheezy Porter. They're going no huddle, but they'll call the timeout here. Wow. A break in coverage. Jim Carr once again with a great game with a great pass right there. First and 10. And Pittsburgh's realistically around 15 yards from really good field goal range. Dallas with the chance. Look, gonna pass it again. Middle field and caught. Turns up and he's not getting the first. They'll call their second timeout. Inching closer to the 35. From this particular kicking space, it'll be around like a 52 yard kick. If Pittsburgh is unable to get their feet wet. Look for the first. Throws it short, and that is nowhere near where it needs to be. Going to be third and two now. 
great game here in the United Sim Football Association. Pittsburgh looking for the knockout punch. But Dallas coming out with the defense. They, I think they got the Philly shell going out right now. They're making sure the body's protected, the head's protected a little bit, you know, protecting a little bit of everything. But it's third and two, biggest play of the game. Quick pitch and incomplete. And the Dallas Dragons stand tall here. Fourth and two coming up. Will they go for it is the question. I don't think they'll go for it. I don't think they have the guts to do it. They could try the field goal here. It'll be a very long one, but nope, they're going to try to punt. Unless they go for the fake, which they will not. going to send this one into the end zone. Technically, Dallas has a realistic shot if they can find another deep pass in that playbook. Jerry Riggs is on fire. He's been finding ways to beat the corner that he's been guarding against. Wow, what a game. From the 20, here comes Church, throws it short. It's gonna be caught, but he does not have any type of timeout. So I believe this could go into halftime, folks. I mean, at halftime, I'm tripping. This is going into overtime, folks. That's just crazy. <laughs> but Pittsburgh is going to call it, and it looks like Dallas will start with the football in overtime. Number one, let's get back into it. Good job here. We see this one get kicked off. Put your fives up if you're with me. They're calling a time. Who called the timeout? Oh, that's a penalty there. <laughs> I was like, who called the timeout? But it's a flag on the play, actually. And looks like it'll move Pittsburgh back. Sorry, move Dallas back to the 15. Dallas fought their ways back into overtime, back into the ball game. Two timeouts. Who wants it more as we see the fake of the handoff looking for a man and there goes the home in Quinta with the sack huge on the play. Their protection did not help him out and it's going to be second and 19 now. Not the greatest of starts here that you want to see. Jerry Riggs at the top of your screen guarded by number 34 CJ Bird who's had his fair share of bumps here. Handoff there goes off and run straight into Jerry Philbin, getting some yards there, but not a lot. Gonna be third and 15 now. Dallas will have to get past the 25 yard line if they wanna keep this particular drive alive. 50 plays, 37 on offense where passes. They're gonna look for a man to throw it to again, launching the left side and some coverage and overthrows everybody. Great coverage there for CJ Bird. Trying to make it fourth and 15. And we should see the punt. And as you already know, if the first team doesn't score, the next score wins. Great, great game here. Dallas, they're gonna have to rely on their defense again. As we see the punt go past the 40 to around the 36. Here comes the return by Davis, who's gonna push forward. And a great defense overall is going to help Pittsburgh get some really good field position here. First and 10 coming. Here comes Jim Carr. Going to hand it off. Find it a little bit of a hole, but Krim and Thomas was there to make sure that doesn't happen at second and eight. Second and eight here. Dallas trying to hold them off. We're going to hand it off to the homie Mike, who's going to push forward. Not quite getting the first, though. We're going to make it third and three. Dallas still with the chance to get off of the field, but they need to stop. Biggest third down of the game coming up. Dallas 
trying to get off the field here. We're gonna pass it again. Is Carr throws the left side, throws it away. And the Dallas Dragons stand tall on defense again. It's fourth and three. And we're still in next score win situation. Dallas with another shot. We'll see what Anita could do on the punt. Send this one away. Looks like it is going to the left, but it is going into the end zone. So we'll keep it moving here. It's first and 10 down at the 20. Dallas looking to get it going here. All they need is a field goal. Get this thing running. some shenanigans here in overtime this season well dallas suffered the same fate as st louis last week as we see a handoff there goes off oh, running through Raquana to get past the 20 to the 25 yard line second and medium crazy crazy game here In that pistol. Going to pass it here. Looking for a man. Drops back a little bit. Finds Riggs by himself. Past the 40 yard line and rolls to the 41. And the Dallas Dragons are on the move. About, mm, about 30 yards away from good field position to make the field goal. Maple Washington, one of the best kickers in USFA history. I'd say he's top three. Top four. Looking, throws a short again. There goes Riggs. He's pushing forward and leans to for another first down. And the bow high connection coming through real strong here for Dallas. Pointing out the first down. Getting past midfield. Dallas has a realistic shot, folks, to shock the world. And if Dallas wants to win this, this could potentially be one of the greatest games in history of the USFA, in my personal opinion. We see a fake of the handoff. The homie Philbin says, I don't care about the history. I want my team Pittsburgh to get the W. That's a sack. And have yourself a day, Jerry Philbin. Using that lightning speed. Get to that QB, second and 19 coming. Looking for the first. They're looking for more than that, but there goes Robin, who's pushing forward to get to the 45, make it the 44. Third and six coming up here. That could have been a first down play potentially if that wasn't a sack before that, but hey, we're gonna keep it moving here. We need to get past the 39 yard line to keep the drive alive. Not quite in field goal range yet. Looking for a man, turns up, gonna avoid the sack, throws it away. Makes the catch almost, is number 37. That's Angel Flugel, but he didn't have anywhere chances of getting in, getting the speed in. Gonna be fourth and six, should see the punt team again. I don't think this is worth going for it if you're Dallas. Play the field position game, see what your defense could do. Sending this one away. Going to the left side, and this one, once again, not going for a touchback. I mean, this one not going for a pin. It will be a touchback. Pittsburgh, once again, on the field here. Who wants it more? That, that's the real question that you really have to answer. Who really wants it more? Dallas had a realistic chance, but the sack kind of derailed everything. Pittsburgh, they're going to try to knock them out here. First and 10, they're gonna send Grant in motion. Gonna look for the handoff, no, it's a fake. Looking for a man to throw it to and going to be incomplete. Great coverage from Weezy Porter who was there. Number 24 doing his thing, trying to be safety of the year. Gonna make it second and 10. Off again, looking for a man. Protection solid in there. Goes Crimson past the 45 or past the 42, the 45. And Pittsburgh is going to make a big play there. First and 10 again. Right 
Both teams have been able to at least get one first down to get close to midfield or a little bit past midfield. But they need a little bit more than that. First and 10 coming. We're going to send ball in motion. Then hand it off. Find it a little bit of a hole, but not too much there. Dallas is going to hold it to a short gain of two. Huge game here. Take off and run. Going to run right into number 72. That ain't going to help you, pimp. It is a gain of two, so it is something, but need a little bit more than that. It's third and six. Another huge third down coming up. Four minutes left in overtime. Numero uno. I send Mike in motion. Meet up with Kenobi. Let's see what Jim Carr has in his bag here. Going to throw it right side. It's going to be caught, but he's not getting the first down. Weezy Porter with the quickness with another stop. And it's fourth and two. Now, does Pittsburgh go for it here in this situation? They are in Dallas territory. Me personally, I feel the exact same way as Dallas when they were in this situation. Play the field position game. See if you can make it happen. See if your defense can get another stop. They're trying to fake, and it's going to be incomplete. They tried to fake, and they could not get it. They put their hands into the bot tight end, and Dallas said no to that. I'd never seen that fake before. That's crazy. First and 10, Dallas, and now they're in really good field position to do something. But can they take advantage? Huge game here going to be a fake at the handoff they send a corner blitz and it looks like it's working going to be incomplete that honestly should be a fumble but they said he was throwing it i don't know what that was is that the, our version of the tuck rule i don't know <laughs> i don't know but right now it's second and ten Pittsburgh coming out aggressive with the corner blitz on that one. Short drop back here. Left side and going to be incomplete. There to Robin trying to pass it to him. Great defense again. Going to make it third down and 10. In Dallas, you don't want to squander this opportunity. Three minutes, nine seconds left here in this first overtime. Dallas needs to get the first. Launching left side and caught. Going to reach over and I don't think he got it. I don't think he moved up. He did not. It's fourth and inches. A rare miss up there from Oh, He did not go forward after the catch. I don't know if he thought he had it. His back was towards the mark. And they're going to say no good. And they're going to punt it. See if they can pin him. Sending it to the right side. It doesn't look like it's out of bounds more. And they barely get it inside the end zone. And no pin there for Washington. No offense quite yet. Or no consistent offense quite yet, I should say. It's first and 10 again. Two and a half left in the first overtime. Both Jacobson. But he had to play. He just did not turn up the field. That's all he needed to do. We're going to see a handoff here to Mike. A spin move. Going to push forward. There's a flag on the play, and that should be on Pittsburgh. And it is. So it's going to be first and 11, moving back to the 19 yard line. So essentially a loss of one on that play and due to down over. Since it was ahead of the sticks, that's, that's what they normally do. The block was ahead of the stick, so. Crazy games here in the late season. Going to be passing it again. Sends the pressure, doesn't get home, but they do find the man. That's going to be the home and Mike. Going to get past the first down mark down to the 35. It's first and 10. Mr. 100 receptions there doing his thing out the backfield. Is that no look pass? I couldn't quite tell, but he, he was going to the right. I don't know if his head was looking straight, but a great pass nonetheless. Now it's a quick motion here, a quick audible. We'll shift them out a little bit. It's 
Six seconds. We're gonna hike it. We're gonna throw it short and almost throws a pick two times. And that was almost Andre Krim with the play. I think after that one, he might upgrade those, those uh, that catching skill. <laughs> but that could have been ridiculous there for Dallas if they got that one. Second and 10. Great coverage there from the D lineman. Second down, they need to get past the 45 to keep the drive alive and to pass off the mark again from Carr. Third and 10 coming up. And both offenses, they seem to find a way to get one first down and then they don't know what to do with their hands. Shout out to Ricky Bobby. Third and 10 coming. Less than a little bit more than 90 seconds left in this first overtime. And if it keeps going like this, we may need some more. The last overtime game went to two OT. Gonna look and throw it in. There's gonna be a catch. And there goes Blake Grant again. A huge play. There goes Pittsburgh. Gonna make it first and 10. They left that middle of the field wide open there for Grant to take advantage of. Still not quite in field goal range, but they're going to pass it here, see if they can get it. Going to look for a man. This car takes off and throws it away. The defense of Dallas does come through there. It's going to be second and 10. Dallas fighting for their rights to make it to the playoffs. They need a stop. They need a sack. They need something. They're going to turn up. And look at me calling it out. That's going to be Calvin Thomas with the play, calling the timeout, getting the sack. What a play there from Mr. Calvin Thomas. He's been upgrading this player. I appreciate me some Cal Wu. Love him in the league. Love him and Samurai Jack in the homie. AKA Mikey Jackson in Arizona. Two of my favorite people in the league, no cap. Third and 16 coming. Gonna look for a man, his car. Gonna turn up and Krim straights him down and gets the sack himself. Krim and Thomas, he says, this is the core you need to build around. And Pittsburgh's going backwards. And overtime number five is closing down folks. What a play, what a set of players here for Dallas. Not giving up on the season. It's going to be kicked up. And this will not be returned, but the bounce is something that Dallas did not want to see. That is going to be another perfect bounce there from Anita, who's trying to put all the pressure in the world on this Dallas team. Pittsburgh can win via the safety if it was to occur that way, but it's 14 seconds left. formation here be personal I just say hand off the 34 see what you can do and they will not the pressure's there gonna launch him on the field and there goes the homie there goes Fowler past the 35 and calling the timeout huge play that looked like that was crazy felt like that was about to be the end of the game but it turns out to still give Dallas life wow that pressure was beaming on the homie church but he stayed composed like he was playing on the piano. It's first and 10 coming. What a game here. I'm gonna be passing it here. Gonna launch it left side and caught. There goes the man. And gonna make it inside. Uh, I forgot which yard line it is, but they are in Pittsburgh territory with that play. Two seconds left in second overtime. I mean, in first overtime. Look at the pass again. Oh, actually, that was a really good block there from. Wolf Jacobson to set that pass up. This will be the final play of overtime number one, assuming we need it. Gonna look for a man to throw it to. Gonna launch it right side. Going to be almost picked off. And that is gonna take us to overtime number two, folks. Dallas still has a football, so. They still have a chance here to get things going. Put your sixes up in the chat for the second time in the last three games. Going to be second and 10 handoff. There goes off and there got sniped on defense. 
Both not picking up a lot of yards in this ball game. The Pittsburgh defense coming through when they need it. Third and 11 coming up. And just like the last overtime, they still have a lot of work to do. They're not in field goal range as of right now. Dallas needs to get past the 37. In order to make that happen, looking for a man launching right side again and overthrows the bucket again is Church. It was a little bit testy there. There was two defenders out there, but needed it to be a perfect pass. Trying to make it fourth and 11. Who wants it more? The game continues on. Definitely not worth going for it in regards to a fake punt. Washington will send it away. And it looks like this will favor a lot better than his last punts. That'll roll at around the 15 yard line. We're gonna make it first and 10. Wow. You gotta wonder, the longer this game goes, what team does it favor? You honestly don't, you honestly can't tell. Going to be a handoff here, and there goes Wheezy Porter with the tackle for loss. Actually, right at the sticks right there. I thought it was a loss of one, but going to be second and ten regardless. A great play there on defense. Going to be a shotgun set. Here comes Carr. They send four. Not getting home quite yet. Going to launch this as he gets hit to the left side and going to be incomplete. That was very testy there. Could have been an arm punt, though, if you want to look at it. Third and 10 coming. Great, great defense here from Dallas. Third and 10 here. They're going to flip the halfbacks. We're gonna pass it here. His car looking and incomplete. And the Dallas defense stops them inside their own 20. And this will once again give Dallas some real primo field position here. They should start somewhere around the 35 or 40 yard line after the punt return. Assuming the punt is really, really good here from Anita. She needs all the leg to help flip, flip the field. And she's gonna put some mustard on it. It's from the 30. Here comes the return. Quentin Robin. Going to cut around and get some lot of yards past midfield. And Dallas is going to start out in Pittsburgh territory. Going to make it first and 10. Here comes Dallas. Is this the drive? Can DJ Church lead his team to a potential playoff spot? This game is not over yet. Looking for a quick pitch and caught. There goes Fowler with the catch inside the 40. Not quite the first down, but it's a good start for sure. Second and inches. Do it! Do it! Tell me whatever what what other simulation league is doing like this. You tell me in the comment section and then I'll check them out, see if we can get some stuff from them. But look at the homie. There goes Riggs inside the 20. And the biggest play of the game just went right there for Dallas. Will they decide to close out the deal here? That's the question. Because we've seen some craziness here in the USFA. Luckily enough for Pittsburgh, they had number 33. No, they are going to try the field goal. Dallas says they want to close it out here. David Washington to get Dallas to 500 on the season. The mile high connection comes through in the clutch. Isaiah Fowler with the huge catch. A lot of back and forth. The whole overtime was just ridiculous. Oh my goodness. David Washington. The victory is in your hands or in your foot, I should say. Perfect snap, perfect hold. The kick is perfect. The game is over. Take it to the bridge, my friends. Dallas, you got a shot. 
at the playoffs. Oh my goodness. What a game. Back and forth, forth and back, left to right, up to down. Just ridiculous. Final score is 31 to 28 in favor of Dallas. Just ridiculous. I can't believe it, but wow. <laughs> what a game here for real. Checking out the stats. You see right there, Pittsburgh went for it two times on fourth down, missed both times. Uh, possession time went to Pittsburgh, but the scoreboard surely didn't. Great job overall. Checking out the stats, though. DJ Church, 31 for 51. Two TDs, one INT. Jim Carr, he was 36 for 50 in his final game of the season. A valiant effort for sure. 72%, two touchdowns. And it looks like the longest pass of the day went to DJ Church there. Looking a little bit further on the rushing side of things. Not too much to speak of, but a lot of touchdowns. So Ulf Jackson with 49 yards, two TDs. Mike Hawk with 54 yards and one touchdown. Longest rush of the day was 13, so shout out to the run defenses. Doing their thug fizzle. On the receiving side, Jerry Riggs. <laughs> He's like, I'm going like, to make one last ditch effort at that uh wide receiver of the year if this doesn't get me it i don't know what will a 10 catch 270 yard one touchdown performance just ridiculous i don't know what to say about that vanessa romero with the great game six catches 53 yards one td quentin robin six for 56 as a fowler four for 66 both jackson three for 28 mac braxton mcfadden two for 12 the longest catch obviously was to jerry riggs a great job from him all game long and on the other side, Mike Hawk, 9 for 42. Blake Grant with his greatest game for sure. Seven catches, 143 yards, two touchdowns. Bodacious, 6 for 41 in this final game. We'll see how he fares in the tight end of the year and tight end Pro Bowl settings. Uh, Ryan Davis, 6 for 55. He'll be going into his first season, his first full season next season. So I can't wait to see how he does in his new home. Corby and Crimson, 4 for 45. Anthony Stank, kind of a quiet day for him, but he's had a great season, so he can't be too mad at it. But 3 for 33, that's all the users there. Looking at the longest catch, looks like that is from Blake Grant with the 48-yard bomb. Great job overall. Now, defensively, who has got who got the juice? For Pittsburgh, looks like Mitchell Lott with 11. Uh, looks like Austin Wheeler with 9. Kane Elliott with eight, uh, Kane Elliott with six, sorry. Angel Flugel with six. Jerry Philbin with a great game. We'll talk about it in a bit. Five tackles here. Bryce Walker coming back into the league. I see you, big homie. I kick clouds. I see you, big dog, with three tackles. Cassandra Quinta with three. Kingston Ali with three. CJ Bird with two. Tank Jones with two. Jackson Brady with two, the rookie cornerback. A great season from him. A little bit further down, there goes Colt Wetzel with one tackle. Tackles for loss. We got Wheeler, Elliott, and Brady each with one. Sack-wise, Raquena and Philbin each get at least one. Philbin with two. And Philbin with the only interception this game. One for 17. Uh, one for 17 yards there. Mitchell Lott with three pass deflections. Elliott, Flugel, Ali, Bird, and Philbin each get a pass deflection. No fumbles. But there is one touchdown. Don't forget Jerry Philbin got that jump. You already know how we do. That's a great game from him. Unfortunately, this team couldn't get the W, but he did not go unnoticed. Uh, looking at the defense here for Dallas, though, Jackson Storm with 12 tackles. Jay Mangum with 11 tackles. Weezy Porter with 11 tackles. Andre Krim with 9 tackles. Uh, Calvin Thomas with 7. John Fowler with 7. Raven Kenobi with 7. Kobe Froby with 7. Uh, Doodle Lebowski with 4. Paranai Barrow with three. Noah Bake with three. Rocky Ivan with three. And that's all. Actually, Joey Phillips, my boy Joey Phillips. He's there too. He got uh, zero tackles, but I believe he got pass deflection. Yes, he did. Good job from the homie. Uh, tackles for loss. Looks like uh, Kobe Froby with three. Dude Lebowski, Hyrule, Paranai Barrow, John Fowler, Jackson Storm, Wheezy Porter. Those names I just mentioned last age get one. Uh, let's see. Andre Krim leads the way here in this game with two sacks. Al uh, Rocky Ivan and Calvin Thomas each get a sack. Great job from you guys. 
and no interceptions. Pass deflections, Weezy Porter with two. Joey Phillips with one. Andre Krim also with one. John Fowler and Jackson Storm get one as well. And not too much else there. Rest of the defense. Great job. Great defense. It was a fun ride watching both of them work. Uh, Kicking-wise, looks like uh, David Washington was one for one on the game winner. Great job from him. And it looks like both Anita and David were perfect extra point-wise. Uh, nine kickoffs, only one touchback there from Anita. Punting-wise, nine for 413 punting yards there for David Washington. And eight for 376 there for Anita. Both of them averaging somewhere around 46 between the two of them. Actually, somewhere between 46 and a half, I should say. And uh, Long's punt on the day was 56 there from Anita. Um, looks like kick return wise, looks like Anthony Stank did his stuff. Fizzle over 27, 4 for 109. Uh, let's see, Quinn Robin averaged 26, and he was 3 for 78. Punt return, Quentin Robin 2 for 34, and Ryan Davis 4 for 37. Longest punt return goes to Quentin Robin on that last drive. So, wow, great job overall once again. Dallas did everything that they needed to do to ensure that a potential playoff spot can go to Dallas. But they still have to wait. Because Anchorage, if they win, all of what we just had, uh, all that just happened really doesn't matter. <laughs> well, it does matter. Don't get me wrong. Every game matters. But Anchorage will still get the playoff spot since they are ahead of Dallas technically. So if they lose to Huntington Beach, also known as the team that's currently on the nine game one streak. We'll see Dallas in the playoffs, but we'll have to decide that on Twitch. Make sure you stand by for that. Should be a fun ride as always, but until then, stay safe. Great game overall. And we're out here. Ah. Wow.